Hey there, story lovers. Welcome to chapter three of our enchanting tale. Today, we're diving into the Festival of Healing, a magical event set against the backdrop of a twilight sky. Picture this, snow-draped rooftops in the charming town of Bruges, where the last rays of sunlight dance playfully. The air is alive with the sweet scent of roasted chestnuts and the joyful laughter of children. Our protagonist, Lena, stands at the heart of it all, her bright green eyes scanning the crowd. This isn't just any festival. It's a moment of reckoning, a chance for the community to confront their past and embrace healing. So, buckle up as we embark on this journey of renewal and forgiveness. The festival is in full swing, with townsfolk gathering under the flickering glow of lanterns. Lena, our brave leader, feels a surge of determination as she steps into her role. She's been guiding her friends Owen, Mila, and Theo through an emotional labyrinth, and now it's time for the entire community to face their fears. The enchanted ornaments, glimmering like stars in the twilight, hold the key to their healing. But oh, here's where it gets really juicy. Mr. Van Der Meer, tall and imposing, emerges from the shadows. His presence is like a storm, and the townsfolk part before him, their whispers a chorus of apprehension. He's always been a barrier, wielding his wealth like a sword. But today, Lena is ready to challenge him, to talk about the regrets that bind them all. Lena steps forward, her heart pounding like a drum. Mr. Van Der Meer, she calls, her voice steady despite the fear. The crowd holds its breath, eyes darting between the children and the formidable man. Mr. Van Der Meer's expression hardens, but Lena presses on, weaving a tapestry of hope with her words. We cannot move forward without facing what we've hidden. The festival is a time for renewal, for forgiveness. As she speaks, the townsfolk begin to murmur, the tension shifting like the wind. Lena sees the flicker of recognition in their eyes, the realization that they can confront their pasts together. The ornaments, once mere trinkets, now glow with vibrant light, illuminating the path to healing. Elder Mariek steps forward, her frail figure radiating quiet strength. I have lived with my regrets for too long, she says, her voice a soft tremor. It is time to share my story. The crowd parts for her, and as she speaks, the weight of years lifts from her shoulders, the air shimmering with the promise of catharsis. Lena watches, her heart swelling with pride for her friends and the townsfolk. The festival is no longer just a celebration. It's a sanctuary for healing, a place where the past can be acknowledged and transformed into something beautiful. As the first notes of music fill the air, the children join hands, their spirits intertwined with the community. They're ready to embrace the power of forgiveness and the importance of facing one's fears. The festival of healing has begun, and with it, a new chapter of renewal and hope. Thanks for joining us on this journey, story lovers. Don't forget to subscribe to Storyteller for more magical tales. Until next time, keep dreaming and keep believing.